development has always been important to me uh, on a personal level, but as a, a, the chair of the math department, I want to make sure that my department has the support necessary to be able to develop professionally. And Oxbridge has been incredibly supportive of professional development opportunities. I've gone to conferences. Um, I'll be presenting at a conference in Seattle this November. And at the start of the summer, I actually had the opportunity to teach other teachers at Phillips Exeter for a week-long summer program. I taught two courses, deepening student understanding of function statistics and trigonometry through modeling, which is a little bit of a mouthful, but uh, it really hit the modeling perspective. And then logic and coding in Arduinos, oh my, which was all about using code and Arduinos in an electronics setting. And both of those courses are unique to Oxbridge and they were something that was very exciting for me to share with other teachers. A few years ago, I had the opportunity to study at Oxford University for a summer, and it was amazing. Not only did I get a really in-depth experience of working through some texts and authors that I wasn't very familiar with, um, but I also actually used some of the strategies that my professors used in class, and I've actually taken some of the material um, that they used, and I've used them with my own students. I also took advantage of the fact that I was in England to go and visit a lot of author houses. And when I visited their houses, like I visited the Dickens house and I visited Virginia Woolf's house and I took videos of the houses. I did little walkthroughs of their houses and walkthroughs of their gardens. And I've incorporated all of those walkthrough videos into my PowerPoints. So when I teach about Dickens, I can actually show them his house. I can show them his writing desk um, and it's, amazing how it just sort of brings the material to life. 